Bom dia a todos. Sejam muito bem-vindos ao primeiro evento público do uh, Good morning and welcome to the first public event of the project Every Story Matters. The first European project of Access Cultura, a very small organization. If we didn't have these great partners, we would not have been able to take part in such a large project. This project has been approved and financed by Creative Europe, and it's a great joy for us for several reasons. First, it gives Acesso Cultura the opportunity to engage with the publishing, literature, and books sector. Uh, hence, we'll be able to expand our horizons. Secondly, it gives us the opportunity to reflect upon stereotypes and the lack of representativeness in several areas for many people in our society. It also gives us the opportunity to work with colleagues from other European countries who have a vast experience and expertise in these matters. This conference is being live streamed. The link, if you want to share with other colleagues that can't be here today with us, it's available in our website and in our Facebook page. You also have simultaneous interpreting. One channel, channel one is English and channel two is Portuguese. I'll give the floor to our uh, coordinators, the Flanders Literature, but before that, we'd like to thank the program Creative Europe, the sponsor, the financing sponsor of this event, and I'd like to thank all the other five partners of this project. We'd like also to thank uh, Calus Kalbenken Foundation for their generosity. They have been providing a great support uh, for us since we established Accesso Cultura. I would like also to thank Casa Fernando Pessoa and the José Saramago Foundation, our local partners. They have readily accepted to embark with us on this journey. I would like also to thank our volunteers that are in our help desk outside, and of course my colleagues of Assess Cultura for their relentless support and commitment. I'll give now the floor to uh, my colleagues Noemi, Stephanie, they are the ones that prepare the application and they will give us, they will shed some light on this project. Thank you. Hello, welcome to everybody. My name is Numi, and um, during the last six years I've been working for Flanders Literature more spe specifically on the topic of inclusion. Um, and when I started six years ago, there was still a lot of work to be done. Uh, I noticed that there was an obvious lack uh, of diversity in the sector. Um, the people writing, selling, distributing, and publishing the books mainly had a, a similar profile. Heterosexual, white, cisgender, middle class, male. And since Flanders Literature is uh, responsible for financially supporting all actors in the literary sector in Flanders, uh, we had a very powerful tool for change. And we invested in those last couple of years in changing our advisory boards, in deciding who receives funding and who doesn't. We set a particular project to highlight talent that was previously overlooked. We opened doors and we broadened our networks. Just to give a few examples, we set up a pilot to support spoken word artists. We facilitated long-term author residencies in schools to provide other kinds of role models. But we also invested in making long-term structural changes. On the 1st of April from this year, we launched a charter for inclusion for the whole book and literary sector in Flanders that was developed in close uh, cooperation and dialogue with all the key players in the Flemish literary sector. But we wanted to do more. And that's why we're here today 
um, in Lisbon, and we are very happy to see that there um, are also people from the literary sector um, joining us today. Uh, because we looked uh, for partners all across Europe, just as eager as us uh, to engage in this positive change. And I remember two years ago um, at an international book fair, and I'm really not sure anymore if it was Frankfurt or Bologna, whatever, but um, at that moment, Flanders Literature paired up with two great organizations and decided on applying for a European grant to take this one step further. Unfortunately, one of them, Alice Curry from Lantana Publishing, had to pull back despite her great enthusiasm. Nevertheless, she remains a big source of inspiration and support. My other partner in crime at that time was Shafina Benderham. She's, she's there <laughs> um, from Rose Stories. And so together we looked for other organizations in other countries that complemented us, that didn't have exactly the same profile. Um, and one of them is Accesso Cultura. We, we're very happy also that they um, were able to host us here uh, for the opening conference. Um, and so we found six great partners uh, to join us in this European adventure. Shafina from now on will be the only one of us who has traveled the whole road that has brought us here today. Because although this project feels a bit like my own child, uh, and I really believe in the power of this partnership, because there are so many great and inspiring people involved, uh, my career recently took another turn. As from the 1st of October, I joined the circus sector. <laughs> and as a managing director of Circus Centrum, it's a Flemish organization supporting the circus arts. Um, I will have take on other challenges, but I really wanted to be here for the launch off of this great project. And the good news is the project will be now in even better hands because Yannick and Stephanie, um, my former colleagues will take over from here for me and I'm sure they will do an excellent job coordinating every story matter. So I wish them both a lot of success and a lot of fun, and I will leave the word up to them. Hi, everyone. I'm uh, Stephanie, and um, thank you, Numi. Um, Yannick and I are very grateful that we had the opportunity to launch this project together, and we're very motivated to make it a success. I will actually keep this very short. I just want to take the moment to thank the five European partners that we will be working with together during the next three years, which Numi already mentioned because we're not doing this alone. I see they're all a bit spread in the room, but just saying thank you to Rose Stories, um, Rose, Mariolene, Shafina, um, the Slovenian Book Agency, Nika and Katja, um, Mediart International, Petra and Ivana, um, Bludar, Sulafa, and of course, um, Accesso Cultura Maria, who did a great job in um, organizing this conference today. Um, thank you all for being part of this. Um, actually, all of you being here marks only the first step um, in our process of engaging the book industry to sustain and cultivate diversity. And this conference is just the beginning. Um, I'll give the word to Yannick. <laughs> Hi, um, my name is Yannick, and I'm going to uh, shortly introduce you to the rest of the activities that will be part of our project. We are all here today because we believe that uh, we can only make an endurable impact on the book sector if we engage every actor in the field. With a series of different events, Every Story Matters wants to offer concrete tools and strategies for all book professionals to work on inclusion and work on it together. The outcomes of today's conference will be translated into a series of library workshops here in Portugal by Accesso Cultura and Andrea. We will host a three-day fellowship and present the European version of the inclusion charter Numi already mentioned. This will include a toolkit for publishers containing sustainable ways to reach writers and illustrators as well as readers from minority groups. At this very moment, we're also starting up a talent development program, which will be guiding six upcoming writers and illustrators to create inclusive stories. It's our partner, uh, Rose Stories, 
uh, with a contribution from the Dutch Foundation for Literature who is uh, working on that. During these next years, these talents will get the opportunity to be closely mentored by an experienced author or illustrator and to pitch the results of their work to publishers and readers at international book fairs and festivals. These are just a few of the activities we've got planned in order to gradually make diversity in children's literature mainstream. But to do so, we will need your help as well. We hope today's conference will be the first opportunity to share ideas, inspire each other, and to make inclusion happen. So as the third one in the row, I just want to thank you once again for being all here, and I suppose we just get started. Thank you. Thank you.